Gardena is probably not the first place that people think of as a tourist destination in Southern California, but that could change with the release of a new documentary. NBC4's Carrie Berglund reports on a new movie and the man who wants the world to know the city of opportunity. Gardena is about as likely a subject for a documentary as it is likely to be named Gardena. But documentaries are at their best when they search in unlikely places for the unexpected. My dream was for Gardena to uh, be the entertainment capital of Southern California. The more filmmaker Max Voltolato found out, the more intrigued he became. One follows another. I mean, it's almost like uh, a, a novel of stories. There's a, there's a real uh, amazing American story here that uh, most people don't know about. Not the least of which was how early on a gamble paid off. Ernie Prim was the godfather of Gardena Poker. He, um, he actually went to the courts in the 30s with his lawyer, Sammy Rummel, who also uh, represented Mickey Cohen, um, to fight for the right Listen to play. Listen to the names. Yeah, yeah, right. Ernie, Sammy, Mickey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they um, well, they found, a, they found a loophole in the law. This is a really, really interesting story. They found a loophole in the law that uh, meant that poker was legal when everybody thought it was illegal. But for the documentary's executive producer who grew up here, Gardena is also the story of ethnic evolution. <laughs> when I first moved here, about half the people were Caucasian and about one third were Jewish. And now I know I'm the only Jew on the block. It may be the only Jew in Gardena, but that's fine. It's the story of California. It's the story of Los Angeles. It's the story of America. And where else would the guy who is also scoring the film have a man come up to him on the corner and talk of his musical dreams? Minutes later, he was back with his flute. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. But the musical interlude does nothing to distract the filmmaker from his looming debt. I made the thing on credit cards. While looking for more investors, the guys decided to make the documentary a 5013C for tax purposes. Interested? Log on to FreewayCityFilm.com. The project, just like the city itself, is just trying to make it through another day. In Gardena, I'm Carrie Berglund, Channel 4 News. We're just Carrie always comes up with great stories. I know. That's not for profit, a 501c3. Yeah. But you can help out, I guess. I guess. Pay anyway, this. here's uh, Pablo in for Fritz now with the weather.